you haven't heard about the Resident Evil franchise, well, I'd be shocked. But, you know, that's completely valid and understandable if you're living under a rock. But you must have seen this lady on your Twitter or your Reddit or your Pinterest, right? You know, tall vampire lady that everyone's begging to get stepped on by her. Yeah. That one. Honestly, after finishing the game and starting to play through it all over again, she is not the most memorable part of Resident Evil Village. So, step aside, Lady D. We got new monsters to talk about. Resident Evil Village is a survival horror game that launched on May 7th and skyrocketed to the third biggest PS5 launch so far. Which, if you watched my previous PS5 rant, you'll understand why I can't be that impressed as I would have liked to be. But even if we were flush with brand new titles, this one will be standing out for sure. You play as Ethan Winters again, because getting his ass beat all along creation in Resident Evil 7 wasn't enough of a bad day. Although, Chris Redfield at least taught him how to shoot, if not how to keep all of his fingers. And we're trying to find his daughter after she was taken away to some strange Romanian fever dream locale that asked the typical pogrom to hold its beer. The game has about 12 to 13 hours of gameplay, minus the new game plus, and extraordinary hype since we were introduced to pretty castles, artifacts, and seductive vampire ladies. No, stop. I'm not going to be talking about you, okay? It's taking me a lot of therapy and melatonin to forget about you. You've got to go. Like, out. So, after grabbing my cup of tea and taking a breath of that sweet spring air, I immediately shut the window, turned my monitor on, and played the game. And I can tell you, without question, Resident Evil Village is amazing. <laughs> Let's start with how beautiful everything is. The world is outstanding and vividly realized, especially this huge castle we venture into. The level of detail is astounding, from the characters to the trees to the feeling I get when Winters constantly, and I mean constantly, gets impaled by sharp objects. The controls feel smooth, and I wasn't always out of ammo, which was pretty cool since I didn't have to die all that much. Speaking of dying, it's pretty easy to avoid, especially if you upgrade your weapons to become the most OP Ethan Winters you've ever seen. The general lack of death isn't a fault, though, as it allows the brilliant pacing of Resident Evil 8 to shine. Not only were the monsters so freaking cool, but comparing them to previous Resident Evil zombies, where they could just wander in for an easy headshot, these werewolves and other mutated nasties have varying speeds which make it harder to hit and predict, but also a lot more fun and tense. There's a whole lot of action and blood, and this game keeps you on your toes the whole time. The tension building is real, but it's not as scary as you might think. Let's just say, even if Resident Evil 7 was too scary or too overwhelming for you, you should still definitely give this one a chance. Sure, maybe there was an undignified scream that came out of my mouth during a certain point in the second section that sent me back to bed with my stuffed panda, but, you know, that was only once. And I know they put it in there to mess with us, so you have been warned. Other than that one moment, things aren't as bad as you think. This is, for the most part, an action game with some of the most imaginative and at times repulsive monsters. It's like a menagerie of some adolescent Hesher's doodles in the school binder. But that's what we love. We love those monsters. Or at least I do, because I'm neurotic. No, I'm not talking about you. How'd you get back in? Can we put another monster, just a different one, up on the screen? Yeah, that's a good one. Even though the entire game is a roller coaster ride, the story is still incredibly more cohesive than other Resident Evil games. It's silly and it does get weirder and weirder the more you play, but it just, well, it makes sense. New Game Plus is also a very strong draw since you can carry all your weapons and upgrades from your previous run through and facing down previously tough enemies with a fully tricked out shotgun is better than running into your ex when you're on a hot date. You're like, yeah, look at me, look at me, I'm doing just fine right now. Not that I would know, that never really happened to me, did it? And don't be shocked if you miss some areas. The castle alone probably has more rooms than Resident Evil 1 and there were so many rooms. I know, I know, I can't stop gushing about this game, but it really is that good. 
but some things still could have been improved upon. To start off, the game doesn't explain to you that you can hunt and fish for items that offer some powerful upgrades until after you've actually collected some and potentially sold them all off. The frustrating thing was that they didn't explain what the meat and fish did at the beginning. So the Duke comes strutting along and offers you money for the items that would have definitely saved you later on. And who am I to refuse a shiny coin from the handsome Duke? The other thing is that once you leave one of the five main areas outside of the village, you cannot go back. There's no way to re-enter the castle once you're out. So if you're watching this and you're going to play the game, get everything you can from the castle when you're there, because you're not going back. So yeah, very minor problems in an otherwise outstanding game. Now I want to say something I don't say lightly. This is the best Resident Evil since 4 and it's arguably better. Whoa, 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 don't hurt me, don't hurt me, come on. As of now, this is my favorite game of the year. Uh, it might be a little bit early to say because we've got like about half a year left when other games are coming out, but let's say this is definitely on my list. Look, it's just so much fun to play. There's all the action, the horror, the monsters. No, I, I, I don't want to talk about you anymore. You've been talked about too much already. It's time to talk about other things in the game. It's not just that, you're, you're old news now. And, and there's other monsters that are out there. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You've had your time in the spotlight, but, but you know, we, we've got to move on. There's other fish in the castle. Yeah, I'll see you later. Oh man, that was tough. She's gonna kill me now, isn't she? <laughs>